Hello everyone, I am Piyush Agarwal, Advanced SAP Developer and in this video I am going through a explain about a use case that anyone can practice for Automation 360. So the use case that I have taken is from UiPath Forum. It's a, a currency conversion conversion in banking backend used using Google Live Data. So this uh, use case is about, let's see, it says that con con conversion of currency from one currency value to other currency value is a typical manual and time consuming tedious process in back office process of a bank. That is true. Like um, in a live environment, people, uh, in a bank, they have to convert multiple currencies from one to another so that the exchange rate could be maintained. And anyone asking for an exchange, let's say I want uh, 100 rupees INR to be changed to US dollar then that is to be something to be done in the back end and super fast. So what we are going to do basically to automate this use case, we are going to create a bot in Automation 360, which is able to take one input currency, one output currency, and the amount you want to convert from one currency to another one. Okay, so now I am going to the Automation 360. I have already created the bot, which I will be giving a walkthrough of through this video. So first of all, let me run this and show how what scenario how it works. And while it is starting, I will open another page called this. So this is a website. I have just came up randomly to on which we can see a live conversion rate. So it's uh, my bot is asking me currency to convert from. Let's uh, put it INR, our Indian currency. And then it's asking for currency to convert to. So I am writing CAD Canadian dollar. Now it's asking for the amount to be converted. I am typing it 1000. Okay. Now see, it's giving me a 17.07, .07, which is somewhat almost same exact to this actual amount. And I also checked to what is according, according to Google for this. So it's 17.06. That means our bot is working completely fine. Now, let me show you how to build this bot by yourself. So for this process, I have used two, four steps. I call it input, getting a response from API, which we are the main part of this code, then some calculations and our final output. So going to the first block, that is input step, we, need, we have used three prompt activities one for our from act currency that from which currency we want the value saving it in a string variable then two currency the currency to which we want to convert our value and the amount that we want to convert all these are would be in the string variable that's why i have initiated the variable name with s using the best practices now, the next step is API response, which is like the core part of this board. Some would say that on A2019, if I search for currency, I would like to show this that there are two activities called real-time conversion and historical conversion. Though, unfortunately, I guess probably they are still in development as they do not work in community edition. But what you can do is instead of this, you can go with the APIs. APIs are like, the most fastest way to get something through backend without any kind of UI interaction. So for this uh, API response uh, step, I am using an API from the this one, Exchange Rates API. Exchange Rate API, I have found something very easy to use. They are um, like free almost. If I go to, if I, let me show you in the pricing. For me, I have used a very free plan only. It is 250 rupees per month, which is very well sufficient, at least for me, for this use case. So the way to use this API is also very simple. You just add the API URL, latest, then the access key, which is provided to us, this one, and any symbol that you want to get the value. This API uses EUR as a base value and gives you the conversion rate, like say for one EUR, what is the value for USD? One EUR in AUD, CAD, PL, and INR, that's it. So you can create your own queries using your own APIs to get any value. So over here, I have created this API for me, till symbols equals to, now over here in, in after the symbols, I can mention any uh, currency that I want, INR, USD, EUR, 
CAD, anything, and any number that will give me a JSON response and the value. So I have copied this over here in the REST web is API service. And after symbols, I have added the currencies which I am dealing with the from currency, the currency I want to convert from, comma, the currency I will want to convert to. Then below, you just need to create a dictionary variable like currency rates. It is a kind of unknown uh, data type. You have to create this, just click on this create variable option, give a name, it will create, uh, give you an dictionary and you just need to create it. Then we need to get our value from the D currency rates. So for that, we will be using JSON object manager. This is the best package I have found in this automation anywhere. So through this, you can easily parse your uh, JSON query. This JSON object manager, you just need to write D currency rates body in the first input. And this return string is just uh, gives you an output that if it the conversion was successful or not. And body defines that uh, the actual output which is provided by that API query. Now, let me show you what this output looks like. I will use a message box over here. And uh, let's copy this currency rates over here and rerun the bot. This time I will use USD, well, dollars, like how much INR is currently in dollars. So I want to convert from INR to USD, let's say only one rupee. What is the con current con rate of INR dollars? So this is the message that has came from that our INR value is 85.124 and USD is 1.13. This is the value which is being given through our API response. That means one EUR is equals to 85.12 INR and 1.13 USD. Okay, and this gives us that 0 0.01, how one rupee is equals to 0 0.01 dollars. Okay, so as you have seen this message box, I don't need it. Now I want the rates, as you've seen in the query that rates, we have our values. So rates dot as from currency. It's like uh, this, if we have got rates equal something like INR colon one, two, three, colon USD colon three, four, five, something like this. And this rates is also in a kind of dictionary. So I am calling this rates object dot then its property INR USD or any, any amount of currency that you want to add to this API service. So rates dot from currency, saving it in the as from currency variable only. And again, S2 currency to and saving it again to the S2 currency. So earlier we had the currency name in the S2 currency and S2 variable variables, but now we have the value as it, how much one EUR is equal to in that particular currency. Next, I am going to the calculation stage, which uh, through which we are converting our variables to a number format and calculating how much equal is one INR to the one USD or any like from to two currency. So to convert the variable from string to number, we use string to number act, uh, command from here. I have converted two currency to the numeric format and also the amount which we are converting. Now calc command that we use is for any kind of calculation. So this is a very simple calculation that you might have seen in mathematics. Like we have got X equals to N, Y, M, Y, and let's say X is also equals to M, Z, where say X is our EUR, which is the base value for this API, and Y and Z are some any kind of currency. I am picking INR and USD, for example. So our Y, that is one currency, would be equal to M by N of another currency. For example, like one INR equals to M by N of USD. So this formula is what we are using for our uh, calculations and currency divided by and from currency into an amount. 
and once converted you just save it in a, another number variable or from this calculate expression for uh, better convenience you just click on create variables and give any name to your variable and it will be done next we need to round off this number so for that i am using the round number number utils command and getting it to a decimal of 2 and finally to get an output from this bot is we need to convert that query so we are using n amount with the at least two decimals and saving it to an s amount variable which was if you remember the initial variable that we used to get that input and this is a final message box to uh, give us output so through this you can easily convert from one currency to another you can uh, utilize this bot in a, any kind of process you don't need like if you want to do this complete use case like uh, if i go back to that currency conversion so over here uh, the out the how it would be we'll get an input excel file on which we need to the currency conversion then we will attach our bot over here that it should take read the in excel file call the api then again give the output instead of message box back to the excel file and you will be able to convert from any one currency to another that's all guys that was the simple use case that you can practice for your upcoming any kind of work and if you want there is any kind of use case or doubts you might have regards to any automation anywhere or ui path please feel free to contact me i am on my linkedin page you can contact i will or my personal email id those details are provided in the video description um, do like share and subscribe to my channel that really motivates me to create more videos thank you guys see you off in the next video bye